Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Setting Up the Servlet Guessing Game Example. In this video, we'll review the components of our guessing game example, the servlet version. You'll learn how to create an Eclipse project that will eventually include all of these components, and we'll take a brief tour of the results of setting up our project. Let's quickly review the guessing game. Craig, the game master, will come up with a secret number, and then he'll ask Nick, the player of games, to guess a number between 1 and 1,000. Nick will respond with a guess, for example, 500. Craig will then respond with an appropriate message, in this case, wrong, guess lower. Nick will come back with a new guess, this time 250. Craig says, guess higher. Nick says, 300. Craig says, guess lower. Finally, Nick comes back with 253, and Craig responds, Amazing! You got it in four guesses! So he tells him that he got it correct, and he tells him the number of guesses. Our task is to make a web application that will come up with a new secret number so that the player can play multiple games. For the example application of this video, we are concentrating on studying Java servlets. We're going to create our Java application for the game following the logical construction shown here. The server side will initialize the game and set a random target, and then present a form that the player can use to enter their first guess. To initialize the game and present the form view, we're going to create the component called index.jsp. While a JSP file can contain Java or tags that call upon Java, you should think of it as primarily a web component. As such, the index.jsp file will be stored in the web content folder of your Eclipse project. For the rest of the game, where we are comparing the guess with the target and responding appropriately, we are going to create a Java servlet for this example. In this example, the Java servlet will act as both the controller and the view for the MVC design pattern. We'll include one Java class in our model. This will be game number. Java classes that are part of the model can be called upon by both JSP and servlet components. In this application, our game number class will be used to represent any of the numbers we might have in the game. Note that the design shown here is just one of several designs that could be used for this application. In fact, we will see other designs in later modules as we explore JSP files in depth and the MVC design pattern. Also, the game number class is being used solely to provide a simple example for you to see how to incorporate model classes within your application. For a real-world version of this application, I would probably use primitive data types like int to store many of the numbers for the game. Here we are in Eclipse. Currently, I'm in the Java perspective, but I'm going to create a web application, so I need to switch over to the Java EE perspective. An easy way to do that is up in the right-hand corner of Eclipse, hover over the different perspectives, and choose Java EE. Now that we are in the correct perspective, we can start to create our dynamic web project. To do this, under File menu, go to New. Now choose Dynamic Web Project. Here we will start to see a set of dialog boxes that we need to carefully fill out in order to create our new project. First, I'll fill out the project name, Guessing Game, Servlet Version. I'm going to check the location. Notice that it will store it in my Eclipse workspace on my hard drive. Next is the target runtime. I'm going to use Apache Tomcat. I'll make sure that the latest version that I have installed is selected. If this is your first time creating a dynamic web project in Eclipse, you may see none here under Target Runtime. Assuming that you have installed and connected Apache Tomcat to your Eclipse installation, simply click on the arrows and you should be able to choose the Apache Tomcat version you'd like. For the dynamic web module version, I'm going to keep the latest one, in this case 4. I'll glance briefly at configuration. That's set up well for me. 
I'll leave EAR membership and working sets as they currently are. Now click Next. On this page we can specify which folders will store Java components. I'm going to leave that as is here, but notice that I will have a source folder called SRC, source for short. We'll see this in a few moments as we explore the generated dynamic web project. Now click Next. On this final page, we can set up where web content will be stored. I'm going to leave this as is and notice that all of my web content will actually be stored in a directory called web content. Remember that web content includes any webby components such as HTML, CSS, image or video files, JavaScript files, and even Java server pages. I'm going to leave generate web.xml deployment descriptor unchecked. I do not choose to use that at this time. So everything is set. So now click finish and we will see the results. The only change that is visible in Eclipse is that in the Project Explorer we now see the guessing game servlet version has been added. Let's expand that to see what's inside. Notice that there are several subfolders to my project. You might note that there are several more than you would find in a basic Java project. You'll see that deployment descriptor is listed here. But that's not really active because, as you should recall, I chose not to include that when I went through the dialog boxes. We see Java resources, and we have an SRC, or source, folder where our Java components will be stored. In a moment, we'll add a couple of packages to the source folder. We also see that we have a web content folder. Web content is where we will be storing our webby content, such as JSPs or HTML. As we mentioned, the source or SRC folder is where we're going to hold all of our Java-based components. It will hold our game number, Java class, as well as our game servlet. Let's right-click on source folder to create a couple of packages so that we can keep all of our Java components organized. Select New, then Package. Note that it's storing it in the source folder. I'm going to call this first package Model. That's where I'm going to have any Java classes, which are basically model components. Let's create another package to keep our controller classes, or our servlets, organized. Once again, right-click on Source, select New, then Package. I'll simply call this one Controllers, as it will hold my Java servlets, which, as you might recall, handle the controller concern of the MVC design pattern. Now click Finish we can see that both of our new packages have been added underneath the SRC folder. Make sure that you save your project. Now we're ready to start building our guessing game servlet version dynamic web project. We'll look at how to add the various components in later videos. For more information about the concepts that you have learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. This has been a Piercy production.